Hello everyone, my name is Spoon Mapper and today I'm going to show you how to play Minecraft Bedrock Edition with no limits. I'm going to be showing you how to edit the Minecraft Bedrock Edition game code so that you can change your render distance up to a million chunks, play with uh, VSync turned off so that you can have no limits to your frame rate, and a few more things as well if you want to change any other properties of the game. Enjoy! So to get things started you want to click on this PC, then go into your local disk drive. Then click on users. Then click on the file with your name on it. And then click on view and show hidden items. That should make a file called app data appear. Click on it. Then click on local, then click on packages. Now find the folder that says Minecraft w UWP at the start of it. Then click on local state, and then games, com.mojang. Then click on Minecraft PE and then options. This should bring up the game code. This is where you can edit things like the character's name if you want to, uh, other settings as well, um, view distance you can change to be whatever you want, uh, then you can change your vsync settings so that if you change it to zero then it changes the game so instead of having your FPS limited to 60 it makes it unlimited so it's whatever your PC can do or well, yeah, this has to be on PC, by the way, because you don't have File Explorer on any other devices. Um, anyway, yeah, as you can see, there's loads of other settings that you can edit and change, so just play around with it. Anyway, now, back onto Minecraft. Let's show some of these in action. So, this is Minecraft at 128 chunks of render distance. Now this is as high as I can get it to go before my computer crashes completely and decides to overheat, but as you can see it's pretty ridiculous. Now this works in the end as well, so you can see end cities from miles away if you're wondering when you could use this. Um, it's really cool, I really like it, but as you can see it's pretty laggy, so <laughs> I wouldn't use this all the time. I've also just found another setting that allows you to make text different colours, so look here I've made it blue, but I think you can make it any colour you want. That's really cool. The setting you want to change to be able to do that is called chat colour code. Uh, it's got a weird S symbol, and then after it it's got a character, in this case it's B because I changed it to be blue, but different um, letters and numbers mean different colours so experiment and see what you can do. I just thought I'd do my outro here on Breaking Bedrock because I just wanted to say that progress is coming along very well with this quad perimeter. We, uh, we've probably dug out about uh, half a million blocks I'd say. Um, so yeah, progress is definitely coming along. I will be doing more of this in the form of live streams. So please make sure that you um make sure that you see when I'm live streaming so that you can come and join me and you can ask me questions in chat and things like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.